So will it be. I reckon so. Interesting facts about famous people. Real Native American actors in westerns. There are far more real Native American actors in westerns than you may think, especially nowadays. Following my recent video on white women who played Indians in westerns, I'll start this one just on the guys. I felt it was time to make this video. As mentioned in most of my videos, there are far too many to mention in one video, so this is my first. A follow-up undoubtedly to come. Let me know who your favourites are for next time. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Please take a moment to like and subscribe the channel as well. I appreciate it. Let's get into it. Wes Studi. Credits his passion and multifaceted background for his powerful character portrayals that forever changed a Hollywood stereotype. Studi was born into a Cherokee family in No Fire Hollow, Oklahoma, a rural area in Cherokee County, named after his mother's family. He is the son of Maggie Studi, a housekeeper, and Andy Studi, a ranch hand. Until he attended elementary school, he spoke only Cherokee at home. He attended Chilico Indian Agricultural School for high school and graduated in 1964. From small town Oklahoma, native to internationally acclaimed actor and musician. Within a few years of his arrival in Hollywood, Studi caught the attention of the public in Dances with Wolves, 1990. In 1992, his performance as Magua in The Last of the Mohicans established him as one of the most compelling actors in the business. J. Silverheels, born Harold J. Smith in Canada, on the Six Nations of the Grand River, near Hagersville, Ontario, grandson of Mohawk Chief A. G. Smith and Mary Wedge, one of the eleven children of Captain Alexander George Edwin Smith, and his wife, Mabel Phoebe Dockstatter, maternal Mohawk and paternal Seneca. He was a star lacrosse player and a boxer before he entered films as a stuntman in 1938. He worked in a number of films through the 1940s before gaining notice as the Oscola brother in a Humphrey Bogart film, Key Largo. Some of his later westerns, Santee, 1973, as John Crow, The Man Who Loved Cat Dancing, 1973, as The Chief, Indian Paint, 1965, as Chief Hevitanu, Walk the Proud Land, 1956, as Geronimo. Return to Warbo, 1958, as Indian Joe. The Lone Ranger and the Lost City of Gold, 1958, as Tonto. Let and cattle. We wish to know these things. Russell Means was born in Oglala, Lakota Sioux Indian, in Porcupine, South Dakota, on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. His mother was a Yankton Dakota, from Greenwood, South Dakota, and his father was Oglala Lakota. He was the first national director of the American Indian Movement, AIM, in which role he became prominent during the 1973 standoff with the US government at Wounded Knee. A few Westerns of note, The Last of the Mohicans, 1992 as Chingach Cook, Wagons East 1994 as Chief, The Pathfinder 1996 TV movie as Arrowhead, Wind River 2000 as Washakie. Will Sampson, William Will Sampson Jr. was a citizen of the Muscogee Nation a tribe from the southeastern woodlands, a Native American actor of the Creek Nation. Sampson's big break came from his memorable role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, 1975, opposite Jack Nicholson. He also starred opposite Clint Eastwood in the western The Outlaw J.C. Wales, 1976. He had supporting roles in Orca, 1977. Some of his westerns, Buffalo Bill and the Indians, or Sitting Bull's History Lesson, 1976, 
as the interpreter William again. Holsey, the Outlaw Josie Wales 1976 as Ten Bears, the White Buffalo 1977 as Crazy Horse. For if we do, I will see only a white enemy, and you will see only an Indian, and we will both solve the great mystery. Oh, hang on, long hair. Chief Dan George, born as Geswanuth Slahut in North Vancouver. His English name was originally Dan Slaholt, the son of a tribal chief on Barad Indian Reserve, number three. He is the only Aboriginal actor in Canadian history to date with the right to use the title. The surname was changed to George when he entered a residential school at age five. He worked at a number of different jobs, including as a longshoreman, construction worker and school bus driver and was band chief of the Tasleel Watut Nation from 1951 to 1963, then called the Barad Indian Band. Starting late as an actor, some of his westerns, Little Big Man, 1970, as Old Lodge Skins, Alien Thunder, 1974, as Sounding Sky, The Outlaw Josie Wales, 1976, as Lone Wati. Graham Green. Green is a Juanita, born in Oshwekan, 1952, in Six Nations Reserve, Ontario, Canada. Before moving into acting, he worked as a draftsman, steel worker and welder. He is an actor and writer, known for The Green Mile, 1999, Wind River, 2017, and Dances with Wolves, 1990. He has been married to Hilary Blackmore since December 20, 1990. They have two children. Just a few of his westerns, Dances with Wolves, 1990, as Kicking Bird, Thunderheart, 1992, as Walter Crow Horse, Maverick, 1994, as Joseph, Wind River, 2017, as Tribal Police Chief, Ben Shoyo. And the state police have no jurisdiction on the reserve, and they have no jurisdiction off the reserve, so the FBI have to intervene on that. Adam Beach, born in Ashen, Manitoba. He is Sultanux Anishinaabe and has some Icelandic roots through his great-grandmother, the son of Sally and Dennis Beach, and was raised on the Lake Manitoba Dog Creek First Nation Reserve at Lake Manitoba with his two brothers. A troubled childhood saw his pregnant mother killed by a drunk driver and his alcoholic father drowned only weeks afterward. A few of Adam's westerns. Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee, 2007, as Charles Eastman. Cowboys and Aliens, 2011, as Nat Colorado. Diablo, 2015, as Nakoma. Hostiles, 2017, as Black Hawk. The Power of the Dog, 2021, as Edward Napo. Floyd Red Crow Westerman, born on the Lake Traverse Indian Reservation, home of the Sisseton Wapeton Iota, a federally recognized tribe that is one of the sub-tribes of the Eastern Dakota section of the Great Sioux Nation, located in the U.S. state of South Dakota. His indigenous name, Kangi Duta, means Red Crow in the Dakota language, which is one of the three related Siouan languages of the Great Plains. An actor and director, some westerns, Dances with Wolves, 1990, as Ten Bears, Son of the Morning Star, 1991, TV miniseries, as Sitting Bull, Grey Owl, 1999, as Pow Wow Chief, Hidalgo, 2004, as Chief Eaglehorn, Comanche Moon, 2008, TV miniseries, as First Old Comanche. Rodney A. Grant, best known for his role as Wind in His Hair in the 1990 film Dances with Wolves. Grant was raised on the Omaha Reservation in Macy, Nebraska. After his biological parents abandoned him, his grandparents raised him from six months of age until 1982. Besides Dances with Wolves, he has also appeared in films such as Wild Wild West, Geronimo, An American Legend, 
White Wolves 3, Cry of the White Wolf, Wagons East, War Party, and Pow Wow Highway. He portrayed Ching Ar Chikuk in the syndicated television series Hawkeye and also had guest roles in television series such as Chu South. He also portrayed the famous warrior Crazy Horse in the 1991 television movie Son of the Morning Star. Steve Rivas, born and raised on the Blackfeet Reservation in Browning, Montana, son of Curly and Lila Rivas, the fourth of six siblings. Rivas' first acting role was in 1988 in the Universal Studios film Twins, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Following Twins, he was cast in a non-speaking role as a Sioux warrior in the 1990 Kevin Costner film Dances with Wolves. Rivas was then cast as Chato, an Apache scout in Geronimo, an American legend, with fellow native actor Wes Studi. In 1995, Rivas played Yellow Wolf in Last of the Dogmen, alongside Tom Berenger and Barbara Hershey. He appeared in the critically acclaimed 1996 film Fargo, as well as the made-for-television movie Crazy Horse. Rivas appeared in 2003's The Missing, in the 2005 remake of The Longest Yard and in 2005's miniseries Into the West. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check out my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.